Elis Barabim, Vaisig Vatoira, Amalei, say says to Rabbi Akiva, Akiva, Iatim Vishore Mipne Malchus, Rabbi Akiva, you're not afraid? You're not afraid of the, from the Goyim, from the Malchus? Amalei, Moshe, you know the famous answer he gives him? A very famous answer. Amalei, so Rabbi Akiva says to him, Emshel Lechamashel, you have a minute. Let me tell you a parable. Let me tell you a, you know that, right? Let me tell you a parable. He says, you must say, you have a minute. Let me tell you a, a, a parable. Let, let's compare this Lishuo to a fox. There was a fox that was walking, and the fox is considered the Pikeach the, the, the smartest, the, the, the wisest of the animals. I don't know why, but it's considered the, the fox is the Bekeach Shebechayas. The fox is hungry, and he wants to have salmon. You like salmon, right? He wants to have some salmon. So it sees some salmon floating around, but he can't go and get it. So the fox was walking around swimming. If it were floating, if it were floating he wouldn't have a problem. So Shul Shoyim Ahalach HaGavanar, there was a fox that was walking around by the edge of the water. We a dog him, show him a captain with a mock him, mock him. He sees the fish swimming from place to place. Amalehem, he says to them, let's make a deal. What are you running? I'm your friend, yeah. Amalehem, so the fish say to him, I'm worried because of all the nets, the nets, that the people are putting traps. So we're, we're running from place to place. <laughs> Fox. Yeah. So he says to them, I got the answer. I got the solution. Would you like to come to, uh, to me in the dry land? And maybe you and I will live together like my parents and your parents live together. See? Smart man, huh? My Bubba and your Bubba live together. I don't know. I, he sold them to Brooklyn. Who? I don't know what he... he what is it? Do you think he's referring to something? Is he referring to something? He, he's saying it's a Bubba Meister. <laughs> He's saying it's above my. He's saying it's above. It must probably is above my sir. So Amrulai. So they respond. What is he? The fish, eh? Is it fish? Kurdish. What do you think the fish are going to tell him? So the fish say to him, "Atahu sha'ayim alecha pikeach shebechayis." You are the one that people say you're the smartest of the animals. You're not the smartest. You're the stupidest. You're, you're a fool. In our life source, in, our, in the water, in the water, we're afraid we're running from place to place. In our life source, if we leave our life source, if we leave our water, Allah has kama kama. How much more so? We're dead, we leave the water. So, um, Moshe, this is a mushal. This is a parable. What's, you, fill a, you fill in the blank. Uh, before, he, what's the nimshal? You tell, you tell me, what's the nimshal? This is Rabbi Akiva is saying this to Papas ben Yehuda. No? Moshe, fill in the blank. Papas ben Yehuda is telling him, Aren't you afraid to the to so what's no what is it what is he saying? If I stop learning, I'm a fish out of word fish out of the water. That's what he's saying. Af anachnu says Rabbi Akiva. So to us, if we sit and study Torah, we're like the fish in the water. Shakasiv ba the Torah says. That's our life. That's, that keeps us going. That's our oxygen. 
Kach. That's if it is that way, it's fine. If and they're giving us all, we're running away from the nets, from the fishermen, right? So these Romans are giving that. That's like the fish running away from the nets. If we get away, if we come out, Allah has come of a kama. How much worse it will be? Amru, the story goes on to say, not too many days have passed. Rabbi Kiva kept on, he's like a fish in the water. He can't, he can't go out without water, right? Not too many days have passed. Till the Romans take a court, Rabbi Akiva, they put him into prison. Actually, there is, there is actually a big debate how long Rabbi Akiva was in prison there. There's, some people say this happened the fifth day of Tishrei, and he was only there for five days. Some people say he was there for much longer, because in many Gemaras, there's a machloik, there, there, we find many Gemaras that Rabbi Akiva in prison, from prison, they sent him, responded to Shilas. The tough suit, the tough suit of Papas ben Yehuda, and guess what? This Papas ben Yehuda was also. Uh, he, went into jail too. he went into jail too. And they put it, threw him into prison also near Rabbi Akiva. Ama loy Papas, Mia vi Achalakan. Ama loy Ashrech Rabbi Akiva. Great are you, Rabbi Akiva. Shinit fast al divrei Torah. Great is Rabbi Akiva that you were thrown into pre- prison for spreading Torah. Oy le papus. Shinit fast al dvarim betalim. You papus, you were thrown into prison for shtusim, for nonsense. For not, you, it wasn't for uh, uh, for for spreading Torah. All right. B'shar shaytzios Rabbi Akiva lariga. Goyim a goyim, they, they, they made a, a decree, you can't study Torah, you can't study Torah. The bottom line is, whatever, it's a gzera mo'mayla, and if, if, you, if you read, if you read the, what, you re, what you say on, on, t- on Tisha B'Av and what you say on, on uh, Yom Kippur, this is all part of the reason as a trickle down for why the brothers sold Yosef, uh, the, the Shvatim sold Yosef, so this is what Hashem wants. Whatever we we have, we don't understand it, and these this is one of the one of the, one of the ten martyrs. So this is what Hashem wanted. So uh, so Hashem wants uh, uh, Rabbi Akiva to uh, to die here. So when they take out Rabbi Akiva Lahariga to get killed, Zman Krishma it was the time of the day when you had to be, fulfill the mitzvah of Krishna. For how you sirkin as besore, they would re- literally comb as cruel people. They would cr- comb his skin be masraka shel barzel with metal combs. For you makabel all of omalcha shemaim, and during that time, during the suffering, the terrible suffering, he would accept upon himself the yoke of heaven. Amru lei talmidov, his talmidim would. I'm reading the Gemara. Amalei Talmidov says, Talmidim would, would tell him, Rabbeinu, Rebbe, Rabbi Akiva, Ad Khan, enough is enough. How much suffering do you have to go, go through? Amalehem. So he, would, he, he responded. And this, a lot of Hasidish Maimurim have a discussion about this next statement to define the difference between Rabbi Akiva and Avram Avinu. Because Avram Avinu also did Mesiris Nefesh. But Avram Avinu didn't look for mysterious nefesh. Rabbi Akiva says, Kol Yamai, my whole life, Hayisi Mitzar al Pasik Zeh Bechol Nafshecha. I always was bothered by this Pasik of Bechol Nafshecha, because this Pasik means, I feel Naital as Nafshecha, and Nishmascha, that even if you, even you have to be ready to, to go on self sacrifice. Amarti, I said to myself, please, please. When will that opportunity come that I should fulfill it? Now the opportunity comes. And you're not going to let me fulfill this opportunity? So Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva was, was waiting for this opportunity. So the Rebbe keeps on, in Chassidus, they always say, this is the difference between Rabbi Akiva and Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu wasn't searching for Messiris Nefesh. 
searching for Messias Nefesh means I'm looking for it. That's a, that, that is, that is, that, that, that's, that's a lower darga in a certain sense than, if it, ha- if it happens to be, I'm ready to do that too. I'm a hineni for everything. Rabbi Akiva, in a certain way, looking for Messias Nefesh is a different darga. Anyways. So Rabbi Akiva says, my whole life I'm waiting to do this. Rabbi Kiva was saying, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad At Sheyotzisam Nishmosei Be'echad Till his neshama went out when he said the word Echad. Yotzis Abbasko, Abbasko, a heavenly voice came out for Umrah and he said, Ashrecha Rabbi Akiva, Great are you Rabbi Akiva, Sheyotzisam Nishmosei Be'echad That your neshama left, your neshama parted when you said the word Echad. Umru Malachi Asharas from the Akadish Baruch Hu so the heavenly malachim said to the Abishter, Zu Taira, Vizu Shara. Is this a sphere? A, a giant Rabbi like Rabbi Akiva who spread so much Taira. This is the reward you give. And the end of the story is, and the, uh, uh, is No, I say the end of the story is, don't worry, he has Ilam Habo. There's a lot of gl- there a lot of things that have to be explained there. This is this story. Let's go now to a story that comes out because of this. Please turn to a Gemara in Masech de Munachis. You have over here. What my shach I wanted to. Oh, oh I, wait, wait, wait. This is the story of his Mesiris Nefesh. I want to get it before uh, before Myra. Uh, one second, please. Get the other the other one. And the other one is in Menachas Daf Chof Tes Amid Beis. Menachas Daf Chof Tes Amid Beis. I have it. We have it. Yeah. Chof Tes Amid Beis. Chof Tes Amid Beis. That's on page one twelve. This is a story that's going to happen because of this. Give Shimon Nachman a, this one dollar. Which is like. Yeah, look, 112, a Masech de Menachas. You see Menachas? Yeah, 112. Hey, you see? 112. Look, are you looking at Menachas? No, you're looking at the wrong Masech. You look at Avedon. Here, yeah, take this one. All right. So now you know that Rabbi Akiva passed away. Because he's one of the Arugay Malchus, one of the martyrs, and he had a terrible death, al Kiddush Hashem. Now you're going to see that Moshe Rabbeinu, seeing the end of Rabbi Akiva's life, actually suggested that Matan Torah should be given through Rabbi Akiva. That's how great Rabbi Akiva is. Says the Gemara, you have it? 112 in Menachis. You have him? Amar Rav Yehuda Amar Rav. Bisha Sha'ala Moshe Lamarim. When Moshe Rabbeinu came up to have, hello, where are you looking? You, you remember when you were in the Cheder, your Rebbe used to go like this sometimes? I'm going to do that. Should I do this? Yeah, Bisha Sha'ala Moshe Lamarim. When Moshe Rabbeinu came up to heaven to get the Torah, Matzai Lakadish Baruchu, he found Hashem. Hashem is putting crowns to every letter. He wasn't ready to give it away. He wasn't ready to give it away. Amal the fun of Hashem and Moshe Rabbeinu says to the Abishter, Hashem, who slowing it down? What's wrong? The way it is. Why are you writing crowns? The tag, you know, the letters on the Sefer Torah have, have, le- uh, have uh, designs on it. The, the letters are beautiful uh, as is. Why are you making more crowns? Actually, Rabbi Akiva is famous for... Rabbi Akiva, it says, that he used to, uh, he used to, he used to t- uh, learn halachas from every tag, from every S, from ang. Every time, Es Hashem, Rabbi Kiva is famous, Es Hashem Elikecha Tiro. 
It says in the Torah, Es Hashem Kechatira, you should have fear of God. Right? Everybody, from everywhere it says, and he found that, what else does it mean? Everybody had a problem with that one. There's no one else but God you have to fear. Rabbi Kiva says, I will show you who else you have. Le Rabbi is Talmud Chachamim. Talmud Chachamim too. Huh? What's that? Right, 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 right. Hold on. So over here, Moshe Rabbeinu finds Hashem making tagim. He says, what's wrong with the way it's written? As it, Mima Who slowed it down? What's wrong? Amalei. So Hashem says to Moshe, Adam Echad Yesh. There is an individual. She'asid li'ais besoif kama doiris. That's going to come up many generations later. Va'akiva ben Yosef Shmoi. His name is Akiva ben Yosef. Incidentally, by the way, Akiva ben Yosef, his yichus, he was he was a ben gerim. He was a son of converts. He he does his yichus. A lot of our, our heavy hitters in Yiddishkeit, David Amelach, David Amelach's elta baba is is. Uh, Gerim actually says, it actually says that uh, a lot of our manhigim, Chazal tell us we should insist that our manhigim should have a kupa shel shrotzim. You know what? You know that English saying that people have things hidden in the closet. You want people to have things hidden in the closet. Why? People who are arrogant and they have the picture perfect, they can't. You can't knock them. People who have a, a bad past. Uh, uh, mister, mister. In Yiddish, there's a saying, Hintala, Hintala. I know who you are. You know what I mean? Sometimes we got to. Uh, so, Akupa Shul Shratzim. Anyway. So, Akiva ben Yosef Shemoy. There's, there's going to come somebody called Akiva ben Yosef. Sha'asid Lidrosh, I'll call Koitz Vikoitz. That he's going to. You see these crowns that I'm making? He's going to eventually come. And for every kites that I'm writing now, he's going to make a halacha. Tell him shalalachis. I'm a little fun of. So Moshe Rabbeinu says to him, Moshe Rabbeinu says to who? To, well, uh, to? To Hashem. Be boinu shalom. Who is this guy? Harayuli. Show me this. Show me this Akiva Me Yosef. Tilly Tilly Shalachis? Amalai, he says to him, Chazor Lachayracha. Remember, it's Moshe Rabbeinu. So Moshe Rabbeinu has a box seat. This shows you. Moshe Rabbeinu is close to Hashem. He says, Chazor Lachayracha. You turn back, because Rabbi Kiva is obviously not Moshe Rabbeinu. Turn back. Halach. Moshe Rabbeinu went back. The Yosav Lesoiv Shmoina Eser Shures. Whatever, it's different Gersoiv. He went back eight benches, eight rows. Eight rows. He had to go back to eight rows. Moshe is in the front box seat. He had to go back eight rows. Moshe Rabbeinu couldn't figure out what they were talking about. Because obviously Moshe knows the whole Torah. But he hears Rabbi Akiva speaking, uh, uh, speaking Torah, but things he never taught. Things he never taught. Tashash koiche. Moshe became weak. What do you mean he became weak? He felt bad. The talk of Torah, and I don't know about it. I thought, I'm, I, I'm the, I know it all. Ki von shigi Moshe Rabbeinu was listening, and he hears the conversation. Amru loy Talmidov. He hears the Talmidim saying to Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Minay Aloch. Rabbi Akiva. Moshe Rabbeinu is listening to this conversation. Where's the, where's the source source to this? Amalahem. So Rabbi Akiva responds. You want to know the source? Aloch or Moshe Misinai. This is how it is from Moshe. <laughs> so Moshe hears that he's the source for that halacha. Nisyashva daitoi. He calmed down. So I'm, I'm the source for Rabbi Akiva. Chazar Abar Lefnei Hakadosh Baruch became so excited, he came back to the Eibush and he said, 
Amar lefan of Yisus to Hashem, Rebbein Nishan Leilam, Yesh lecha Adam Kazeh. There's such a great man like Rabbi Akiva. Vatanoisim. Only by Yidin. Only by Yidin. This could be. Only lahavdel elef of those. Lahavdel. Tell me which other nation a person would say. Give, let him be the president. Let him be the president. <laughs> would it ever be like this? Ever? Would it ever be like this? There is such a great person like Rabbi Akiva. You're giving the Torah through me? Amalois, Hashem says, Shtoik. Moshe, you know what Shtoik means? Be quiet. Be quiet. That's what I want. That's what I thought. That's what I decided. Don't ask questions. So I'm on the phone of. So Moshe says, you know what? We burnish the Lailam. Harisani Torah say, you showed me, you showed me some of his Torah, and I, I like it a lot. I like what I saw. Wow, he's, he's great. Harani Sechare, show me, show me his reward. Show me where, where he's going. Amalai, Moshe, you know where he's going, right? You just, you just learned that story where he's going. He knew where he was going. No, he, he's going to find out now where he's going. Um, Eloi, so Mo, uh, Hashem says to Moshe, Chazar l'acherecha, go back. Chazar l'acherecha, he went back. And he saw, Sheshoiklim b'sorei b'makoilim. He saw what they did, what they're doing to Rabbi Akiva's flesh. Um, Elifonav, he said, Moshe Rabbeinu says to the Ebesh, the Rebbein Eshelaylam, Zu Torah v'zu Schara. Amaloi. So Hashem says to Moshe Rabbeinu, Shtoik, be quiet. Kach olav machshav v'lefane. Huh? Huh? That's what Hashem wants. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can. Okay, so what's your point? Let me hear you. Let me hear you. <laughs> Ask Hashem, okay,